Welcome to Video School Part 3. There we go. <clears throat> Need some uh, loop music. I'm just doing these one after another. I'm going to build this video no matter if you're with me or not. But I uh, figured when I made this uh, membership channel, I'll just let you guys hang out with me. My dog hangs out with me. My wife is off of work forever. Uh, not that she wants to be out of work. She likes work. I don't. I don't care about work no more. I've worked since I was 11 or 12. Okay, part three. Here we go. Part three continues. Let's go. So we got our file. Let me show you our file. I got it on my desktop. Desktop's a pretty busy guy. So I'm going to go into the new folder we put all our pictures in from the batch file. I'm going to check them out real quick. Look pretty good. Now you'll, you'll notice some of these little tags. Leave them alone. Those are little tags from Impixio. Now remember I told you these pictures are already done, so if there's any... It actually didn't do much to them because they're already filtered and they look pretty good. See how good that looks now? Same pictures, just enhanced. Um, when you make your video, guys, it's going to be fun. Same type of pictures right here. Sun goes down. You see another object. The sun goes down over here. See the sun going down right there. Okay, so we're going to put this together, and we're going to use a program called Felodity. Let's go to Felodity. Felodity.com. This is one of my programs I use. Okay, um, this is the last video I just made. This is a great program. Um, it holds all your videos. You can broadcast them on Felodity out to your wonderful place. Again, you can use the free version, and then um, if you want to remove the watermark, the Felodity watermark, it costs you $2.98. You don't have to spend that. I add my little title page, okay, and it's 1440 by 810, okay, the video is at the highest quality, 1080p, so now it's trying to bring me to PayPal, I didn't want to go there, my computer took me for a long ride, it pulled up PayPal, then it pulled up three other programs, that's why I usually turn my internet service off. And I might have a gremlin. So on this account, we go create. Okay, we're going to create a video right out of here. We'll get rid of that. <clears throat> and go 16 by 9. You can go by template, which I don't use. You could do like home videos. You could load up an old project. I don't save projects. I just don't. I got too much stuff to deal with. I don't say projects. I don't use them at once. And then I'm all brand new. So load your pictures. We're just going to load the pictures for the one sunrise first, which I've never done a video on. Monday show, right? New folder. Okay, so what do I, I'm going to take the Al Capoco ones first and start adding them. So, step by step, guys. You can always speed the video up. But why do that? You have to turn the sound down. And you want to try to get these in the order that they're laid out up here. Because then you'll get the right time lapse on it. I mean, yeah, right time lapse for that part of the day.
some of the stuff I do takes hours because I'm a perfectionist I guess in some areas and some of it's pretty quick most of it's pretty extensive Okay, making sure I don't miss none. One, two, three, four, five, six. It won't let you put a double in there. So if it's a, if it's the same picture, it won't let you put it in. A little tedious, but nothing great comes without a little work. Just remember where I'm at. <laughs> See how it adds. If I if I try to do it again, if I try to put it in, you watch, it won't do nothing. Um, let's try that one. See, you're gonna like this, guys. So again, we got rid of all the different bad frequencies. I already had that picture. Picking the ones I have already. See that? There we go. Back on course. Now we'll be doing some collaborating. Um, not for a little bit, not until I get used to basically everything. <laughs> what I'm doing, this school thing, is a little bit different for me. It's a little tedious, like I said, but you got to get them. you got to get them right. Then you have your path laid out. I usually don't put two folders together, but I want to do these two videos together. So I don't usually do that. When it's hard enough, you don't have to make it confusing. These are all the same filters on these guys. This is going to be a pretty, pretty nice sunset. Okay, so we got them, we got all our pictures loaded up, guys. There's like 27 of them. What we're going to do is just, um, we're going to grab that picture. We're just going to slide it in there. See that? Now, with this program, it took me a minute to figure it out. They don't give you a lot of instruction. But now, if I play that one clip, okay, it starts up good. Now, if I stop it, I can't do anything. It's locked. If I push this stop button, it unlocks it, and I can move it. I got control over it. Um, plus, you got some different options, like at the beginning of this what time you want it to start start animation now I'm going to say in the first clip animation lasts is for let's say nine seconds on that one and then overlap and then basically everything else is, falls into order right 16 by 9 and as you use the pictures you lose the pictures on your clip here now if something looks out of order you got to pay attention but they're pretty much in order so I'm going to have it moving pretty quick to these shots. And then about every third picture, I'll lengthen it longer. And I'll do three or four shots. And I've learned this over a number of videos. That's just better. I'll do four shots. That one will go a little bit longer. These I'm going to go a little bit more intense because they're so intense looking. And the clouds, each picture, the clouds are moving just a little bit. So I'm going to go pretty intense on this. I say intense. 